I noticed that your site also includes business analysis topics, and I can see the connection, but it also includes Agile. That's not a, uh, really, um, is that really a PDU-related topic? It wasn't as much when I when when we started. Um, I as an IT manager um, and as a, a proponent of uh, agile um, from from the time of the agile manifesto. Um, those those topics were very near and dear to my heart, right. um, and uh, I wanted to to. Uh, ignite other people with with agile methods uh, I think that it's better for the for the project for the organization and for the team but uh, <clears throat> as 2011 progressed the um, PMI actually came out with an agile um, certification that's right yeah. and started um, started doing exams in the fall of 2011 and uh, so now there's actually a, a PMI certification specializing in Agile. Right. So uh, I think it very much fits in. Uh, I think we're going to find that uh, for, uh, for North America and, and somewhat worldwide, but for, to bring back that, that innovation edge, mm -hmm. I think Agile is the, is the best practice. Um, it, it allows you to, to change the, the requirements uh, in, a, in a structured way. Right. Uh, we know that the requirements are going to change. It's, yeah. It's not. It's not whether the requirements will change, but it's how you know. Are we going to be able to respond to them? That makes perfect sense. Um, and as a senior editor of PD of the Day, what advice do you give to our audience? <clears throat> well, I think there's a couple of things. Um, I think the the first one would be um, to have a PDU project plan. And I I know how intense the preparation is for the. Uh, for the PM uh, exam, it's a it's a four hour exam uh, that that people take, and at the end of it, uh, when you hit finally hit that enter button, the, you you just want to get the 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 satis the successful result, and then you don't want to think about anything yeah. uh, about that for a while. But <clears throat> if you sit down, you know, uh, a little while afterwards, and say, well, you know, I know I'm going to need these sixty PDUs and um, what do I want to do based on either my own personal interests, on the needs of um, of my company, or my own goals with respect to project management? Right. Um, what do I want to do? And I, <clears throat> I, it, for me, it boils down to three questions: what What do I want to learn about? Um, how am I going to learn that? And, and how am I going to demonstrate that, that that I've learned? So we have a, an awful lot of PMs that are, are interested right now in earned value. Mm -hmm. uh, this is something the the U.S. government has been promoting more and more. Uh, we, we're starting to see it uh, even in the industrial project management uh, mm. uh, that I've been doing. And so you want to learn about earned value. How are you going to do that? Well, there are webinars online. There are articles online. Um, and then, of course, you, you apply that to, to a project that you have. Um, but we all have different learning styles. So for some people, the the webinar, the the individual person is great. For other people, they want something more um, hands on. Right. And so that's that's all part of of thinking about that that PDU project plan. And then, of course, like any plan, that's just what you think it's going to be at the start. So you want to update that as you've completed activities and as you as you move along. Uh, what's the status of the of the schedule? Um, you know, if after a, a if a year into your cycle you've been able to complete uh, 20 or, or, or 25 of those PDUs, then you're well on track. Mm. Uh, I actually recommend that, that people don't, don't stick to just 60, right. um, especially with the self-directed learning opportunities. Um, it's my feeling that if I go to um, you know, 75 or 80 PDUs over that three-year cycle, it's not going to do me any harm. Yeah. And... Um, if there is an audit and, and, and PMI has any questions about some of the sessions or the, the applicability, then I've got that buffer. And you know, and any good project manager knows that uh, a buffer is a good thing. Absolutely. Uh, you know, and, and then finally, of course, a, a little bit of change management applied to that. Um, as you encounter either new needs... Mm -hmm. um, you know, P PMs move or, or the job changes, uh, new goals, new interests, and of course new opportunities because um, if you 
Um, if you do subscribe to the RSS feed or if you come to, to the website, um, we, we typically have well over, um, uh, we have 20 or 30 opportunities every week. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's even just looking at some of the titles, there are things that you, you may not have even known about. Uh, I was, uh, attended one of our webinars here a week or so ago that was about, uh, data center relocation and okay. all the risks involved in that mm -hmm. and it's it's even just in the in the response time that's that's different you know you move your data center from new york to atlanta mm -hmm. um and that 55 millisecond change in response time can be very very significant so mm -hmm. um it, there's some fascinating uh material mm -hmm. that's presented by uh, by the webinar providers uh, so I, I think that, that having a plan uh, saves a, a PMP uh, money, time, and, and reduces stress. And we don't need the stress from our PMP. Mm. Uh, we have more than enough from our projects, I think. <laughs> that's absolutely true. I think that's a fantastic idea. Now, you were talking about audits. So why do, you, why do project managers require an audit fo folder? Well, the... Um, P PMI says that um, they will randomly uh, select a, 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 someone's recertification right. and, and ask you for the documentation. Mm. And uh, as anyone knows who's, who's, who's maintained this type of information, it's far easier to keep it as you move along, right. as you're actually doing it, <clears throat> than it is to attempt to rebuild it. Yeah, that's uh, true. If you're... If you want stress, uh, PMI <laughs> comes to you and says, um, so, so what did you do and when did you do it? And suddenly you're, you're going through emails and receipts and when did I take that course and who did it? And you know, it, it, it's far easier if you actually uh, create a, a P, you know, using that, that project plan. Right. Now, keep a folder. Um, most of the, our webinars at the end... Um, there's a there's a confirmation email that goes out. Right. Um, you know, copy the the the, the confirmation email. Um, it, depending on the category of the PDU, mm -hmm. uh, uh, category Bs actually have a certificate. So so print that out. There's lots of tools. There's lots of tools that um, uh, can uh, can allow you to keep all that stuff in PDF. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm a big fan of Evernote. Yeah, and the fact that you know you can just throw it all in there and and into one folder. Yeah, I just started using them, that. You're right. Uh, you know, and and want to do an audit? Well, you know, so here's all this stuff, mm. and 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 I think that just it's going to make life a lot easier. So they want to know when did the training take place, uh, who provided the training, what category. Um, uh, was it was it actually in the for category C's? Mm -hmm. They also want to know how it relates to the uh, to the PMBOK, mm. and we've been uh, we now include as part of the uh, opportunity uh, the actual how we think it connects to the PMBOK. Right. So um, uh, a lot of the agile is related to project execution and. Um, We've got a lot that relate to team team development, team management, uh, leadership. Uh, we obviously we have ones that relate specifically to risk management or right. you know any, any of the the knowledge areas that are are part of the PMBOK. Hmm. You were mentioning before about self directed learning. How time consuming is it to plan? I you know Bernardo, I don't think it's really that time consuming. Um, it. Uh, it it fits in specifically with what the person wants to do. Um, it, we're we're talking. Uh, I think every PMP should take advantage of the of the thirty hours yeah. of of self directed learning that uh, that come from uh, from PMI. Uh, it's uh, uh, you sit down, you uh, you look at the the opportunities um, going through a PM. Uh, through a, through a project management book, hmm. now, obviously there are so many uh, from from PMI um, through Amazon. Um, we've we've over the uh, course of uh, the PDUOTD, 
uh, we've become acquainted with a number of authors. Mm. Uh, Pam Stanton has a has a book out. Um, uh, also, Suzanne Madsen has one coming out. Um, a lot of the, um, you know, uh, I think it's awesome the opportunities are, that are there, right? And for that, I think that's no. You've given us some fantastic ideas and tips. So, what are the plans for the future? Um, <clears throat> I think in the in the in the future, um, we've we've got a really good base with PDO TV. We're we're looking at expanding, adding and expanding a, a membership program, mm -hmm. uh, so that we can start to to focus on some premium content. Makes sense. Uh, we have some ideas for some uh, uh, some more detailed uh, category C primers. Mm -hmm. So where where we've actually sat down and and gone through a um, a book or or through a number of opportunities um, as, I, as I've mentioned with uh, earned value or risk management uh, there's a, a number of things that that can be pulled together um, articles and tutorials mm -hmm. and uh, uh, YouTube uh, those sorts of things and uh, we're looking at actually having a workbook then that someone could um, could work their way through and of course record those hours because they're all um, appropriate to right. to category C opportunities, mm -hmm. and and of course um, I, we want to continue uh, discovering uh, interesting and valuable opportunities. Uh, I think there's so much fun stuff out there. Mm. No, I completely agree, Martin. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much, Bernardo. Thank you. If you wanted to find out, or if you want to find out more about Martin Chernikoff or our other experts, please go to the projectbox.us forward slash experts. Thank you for joining. Until next time, take care.